Exciting day, isn't it? It is exciting. We have all I'm, uphill today, and then apparently like a huge downhill as well afterwards. That last night during the dissertation, the lady at the Jeet gave us, which I didn't understand any of it. Well, Largo just translated 30 minutes of her talking into two minutes. He said, it's gonna be hard. It's dangerous. You can fall going down and watch out for bears. I just added the bear part. That's not true. Ah, Avalon, the jewel of our eyes. Well, her and Largo too. When she came into our lives, we had an idea what she would be like, but in no way did we know who she would become. From day one, she was in control. She slept through the night at 13 weeks and was walking at eight months. Will and I debate who she gets that from, but no matter what, we are thrilled that she is part of our clan. And ever since we've started World Towning, she has taken to this travel life like a pro, with her own flair. Today, we will be celebrating her birthday on the Camino. And even though this will not be a typical birthday for most 15-year-olds, Avalon is right at home. Well, kind of. It's a very special morning this morning. Good morning, Avalon. Happy birthday. Your second Camino birthday. In a row. Do you want to do this every year? <laughs> Good morning, Avalon. Are you excited? You're turning yes, 11 I today. I wish. <laughs> You ready for your birthday hike? Not really. There's going to be clowns and balloons and singing bands along the way. Mm. And then we're going to buy a bed that can roll. Can and we? then we're going to roll you down. Now. Perfect, let's do that. Perfect, I love How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. So what do you guys think about the Camino so far? So far, I think that the morning cold, it's, it's not It's the nicest long. part of the day for me. It's not long, but it is cold. I like the morning cold because that way you're cold and you can like work up until you're not so cold anymore and it's better than the hockey, that's for sure. Are you excited that there's not that many people on the trail? Do you miss having all the people on so the trail? Excited. It means that I have to work so hard to stay in front of them all. You're a little competitive, aren't you? A little. Largo, do you like being with, just with us or do you, do you miss having all the people around you? I miss having all the people around. Really? Because you could step one foot in any direction and you could start talking to one person and then instantly have a friend. What am I, chop liver? No. One foot. But you were always up ahead. <laughs> Fine. That's what you get for being competitive that one. <laughs> you lose everyone behind you. Welcome to day two. First one's on the trail again. I can't, I'm <laughs> not looking to get an we're award. We're dodging rocks but down But honestly, here. this is kind of rare for us. And so completely different from Camino Frances because people are up rustling bags at like- At 4 a.m. 4 a.m because it's just like everyone seems to have that objective to be the first one on the, on, on the bunks to get the best bunk. But the thing about here that, is that we're noticing is that the jeets, which is basically code for a uh, is they don't open their doors till about 3 p.m. Yeah. So, so if you're gonna be done early, you're gonna be twiddling your fingers a lot. Hanging out at a coffee shop like we did yesterday. Or you're just gonna go more distant, which is fine as well. But yeah. so today we started at our goal was 5:30. We started at 5:37, but then we were about five minutes away from the jeet. We realized we didn't fill our water bottles, and we have a straight up today. So I ran back. Well, I walked back <laughs> and filled our water bottles. So I think we kind of officially started around what, a little bit to six. Around there, just as the sun was thinking about waking up, and we have something special today. Avalon is celebrating a birthday today. Her second Camino birthday. She's turning 15. Where do all the years go? Oh my gosh. So we're going to try and make today <laughs> just a special. little bit of fun so that we can make sure that she decides that she wants to do this again. So we're only going 13 kilometers today, which is a very short day. And where are we going? Um, Mont something there, yeah. Monstral. I don't know, but we hear that the jeet that we're staying at is amazing and they're playing something special for tonight. So we're really excited. All right. Let's start the day. 
Let's go. How's it going, Largo? Good. What are we doing today? We are currently making an ascent of a big looking mountain that is higher than Everest. I'm kidding, it's not higher than Everest. But um, we are going to make an ascent of this mountain, a descent, and then I think another ascent of a bigger mountain. What did they say last night at dinner about this, about this today's climb? Be prepared to, it just basically it's hard. How hard? Wasn't listening. <laughs> so it's all gonna be brand new for us, huh? Yep. All right. I walk between the raindrops. I am soaked, but I don't mind the cold. I have walked this street a thousand times or more, and I hope that I still do when I'm born. All right, who wants to listen to Book on Tape on her birthday? As in a new one? Or I get to listen to an old one? I don't know. Well, we don't have Wi-Fi, so I don't think you're going to be downloading a new one. I could find Wi-Fi. You can find Wi-Fi. You're going to climb a tree? There's, there's no Wi-Fi. <laughs> there's no Wi-Fi. No. Look where we are. More there's than no... like four hours from the next town. Are we? Let's go. Let's go. Wake your brother up. Come on, Larsie. Yep. Oh, I'll help you out, birthday girl. Are you ready, Lola? Oh, it's your head. Did you fall asleep there? <laughs> okay, what are you listening to right now? Mary Poppins? Mary Poppins. Do you want to continue listening to that? Memories fade in front of me. I see them clearly. Welcome to another episode of CNN Camino News Network, where we are corresponding from the tall, tall hill. More like Big Big Hill. Big Big Hill. Today on our aches and pains broadcast, what are your aches and pains? Um, I'm feeling okay. I, I think the one problem I have is I have I actually have a blister on my toe, which is on day one not good. But look what I'm wearing. It's not really appropriate, but I refuse to spend money to buy new shoes for just four days. So I'll muscle through. What are your aches and pains? My shoulders are a little sore, but otherwise I'm pretty good. What are your aches and pains? I am pain free. Thank you very much. And, and I have no aches and pains. All right. Did we sleep well? Yes, I slept very well. we did sleep well. Lots and lots of blankets. We each had three blankets, a comfortable pillow, and it was necessary. I actually it had was. It was four cold. blankets. You had four blankets. Wow, lucky you. The beds are a little creaky, but overall, I think it was pretty nice, solid sleep, right? Yep. All right, we're ready to start the day. You stepped in poop. <laughs> Thank you, Largo. Daddy's dipped in poop. <laughs> Just having a morning snuggle. No. <laughs> you caught Avalon snuggling. She's not, she's not going to do this anymore once she's 15, which is in a couple of hours. Right, Avalon? So we just got out of that, that big forest right over there and there were all these massive pine cones and that's the ones that we used to make the number for today's episode. And these things have been sort of everywhere. So even like slowly throwing them up in the air and having them on the ground, they'd be like, oh, where are they coming from? And they're like sort of dodging their heads. They thought they were coming from the trees above and it was from Will and I. I know, I've got one more right here. I'm gonna throw it on them and say, oh, where'd they come from? Because there's nothing but like clouds above us. <laughs> It's like magic pine cones are falling them everywhere. We're terrible. We're terrible parents. Huh? I know. <laughs> Did you guys notice anything? <laughs> it's a magic forest, Avalon. It's, it's, it's away. Guys, they were actually... They were not falling from the sky, Largo, believe it or not. I mean, it's not falling from the trees. It was Daddy. Daddy was a pine cone Come passer. Give me that. knows the way around the world. So one of the interesting things about the Camino here is that there are very few stops in between locations. Essentially, where we left this morning and where we just got to where we thought we were going to have a first break 
it was like five kilometers, which, you know, quite honestly, it's not that bad. I mean, towns in general are not sort of that close to each other, especially in this part of France. What's going on? Oh, I want to make sure we stay on the trail. We're on the trail. It's not good to go down there? There's a rope there. Why would we go oh, that way? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Sorry. Anyway. I digress. <laughs> so there's not a lot of stops along the way, which is fine because you should have enough in your pack to be able to make you serve so that you can survive more than, you know, I guess 45 minutes. I mean, I mean that's... we're only the first couple of days in. And when we did Frances, remember there was nothing in those first couple of days. But I right. have a feeling that this is kind of how it is the whole it's more of a trail. hiker's trail. Yeah, definitely. You're, you're, you're out on your own for a while and you're left to see what you have. And here's... Oh, sorry, I cut you no, off. No, no, go ahead. And here's the thing. You know, if you do a pensionista, you have breakfast in the morning. But since we're getting up and leaving so early, we like to get up and go. We And then eat about an hour into our hike. So we grabbed... This morning we grabbed some bread and some fruit, which was part of the pensionista. But we didn't get tea or coffee or hot cocoa because then that would require us to maybe sit around for another 20 minutes. Which basically so, meant like we overpaid for breakfast. Right, basically. So by this point, we're like, oh, we need something to drink. We want to eat breakfast. And there's not much out here, as opposed to the Frances, where it's like, honestly... I, it's almost like a McDonald's in every corner. And every, I mean, there's food all the time. No, I mean, it's not, literally, there's no McDonald's in every corner. That would be kind of weird. But there is like a location, usually about every 45 minutes to an hour, that you can go... Uh, that's going to be open. The other thing that's interesting is this, is that today's a Sunday. Now, I don't know how things are in the Camino all the way through, but what we're seeing now is that things are not open on a Sunday morning. Um, it's now almost 8 a.m. There's still nothing's open for the hikers. And from our experience, honestly, of living in France for a year, Sundays nothing was open. There was a big chain grocery store that was open for a couple hours, but otherwise things are still closed on Sundays. And I'm going to guess it's pretty much like that on the Camino unless it's a gite or pensionista that you're staying at and then you get the meals included. But since it's mostly like French people who walk this trail, they're kind of used to that and yeah. I think they sleep in either way. So I don't think the, the people, if you do it the French way, then you're going to be just fine. It was funny, Will said this morning, this trail is for people who like their sleep and their food. And what was the other thing you said? And, and it's like a balance. So they, they like their hike, they like their sleep, and they like their food. Right. And, and in this case, people wake up late, they go ahead and they walk. They have nice, yummy, leisurely dinners. And then they get into their gheet, their alberg, which won't let them in until 3 p.m. because that's when sort of lunchtime is over and people get back to work. So if that's your style and you don't like waking up early, then this is this the is, place for you. I think so. Can we stay here for a week or so? Just watch the corn grow in the fields. I don't know what's on your mind, but I know that it's something about you and me. I'll stay here for as long as I can. Through the storms and through the calm. When you smile at me, I saw. So we finally arrived to our first stop. It's Sunday morning. It's boulangerie. Oh no, that's a butcher. Boucherie. Boucherie. <laughs> My eyesight is failing me. All right. We don't need a boucherie. We, let a, we need a boulangerie. All right, it's cute here and we've got to find a coffee shop for daddy and some birthday breakfast for this girl. What would you like? I hear they have bacon sushi, and eggs. Found a if you can do that. Blog found a coffee, sushi. Okay, I'm on it, sushi. Sushi hunt. Do they have sushi cheese? That's, I think, the best you're going to get. <laughs> oh, God, no. I can give you cheese in bread, and that's about it. Do you want to get stuff for lunch, too? But look, we actually have some awesome fruit we can pick from. Oh, my gosh. Should we get some cherries as well? No, those make me have to go to the bathroom. Diarrhea. Okay. Alors, 5 euros 25, s'il vous plaît. Okay. Can you guys believe it? We have a teenager. Well, she's well into her teen years, but I'm always shocked at how much I love having a teenager and a tween, and almost a teenager, because everyone warned us. Remember? I mean, it was like when we were growing up, oh, teenagers are terrible. And even to this day, we've had some friends that have sat around and complained about their teenage daughters and how awful they are. And 
I don't feel that way. And as much as she's been a teenager for a while, we've had the luxury and the privilege of watching her grow up and watching yeah. her become sort of one person with the world as she's traveled the world. She's, she's full of fire and ideas. And sometimes there are low days and sometimes there are high, out of control days because that's what teens are. That's what makes them so awesome. They're just like, oh, today sucks. Oh my gosh, today I'm gonna change the world. And I love that about them. The energy is contagious and you know, I, she's I can't. totally raw at this point. Like she's she's a teenager. She's going through emotions. She has energy. She has ideas. And she thinks she can change and the world, and we we think she will change the world. I'm so happy that she thinks it's so weird when I say this, but I'm so happy that she chose us to be her parents because yeah. um, it's really been such a pleasure watching her grow up. And then, can you believe it's gone by so fast? I know, I know. And this is her second Camino. So by the way, if you're ever thinking that there's any doubt that you shouldn't take your teenage kids in the Camino, oh my gosh. you should definitely try it. Well, you know what they say. There are no kingdoms without rulers. I'm the king. Are you ready for change? We you got it, you got it. This is a perfect indication of Avalon Largo. Largo's pushing hay bales and Avalon's reading. <laughs> This guy is laying at the entrance to this path, which is leading us to probably the most challenging part of the Camino so far. I'm excited, are you? Meh. All right. Everyone should have a birthday this grand. So the first stage of the day was essentially a nice, pretty uphill climb. We. We noticed like a, just a, an ascent that, that was a little fatiguing in the beginning, but it was nice and easy until we got to Saint Privé. Now, what we're facing is like a 500 meter, just straight run. Now we're not running clearly, but we are, we're just going straight up and the slow part of the day is about to hit us. But it's, this is like all uphill. Look at that, basically. It's, this is real. Look at what we just found. I probably shouldn't eat them because they're so little. They're like but the baby look. strawberries, look at that. They're gonna be big, big strawberries at some point. Oh my gosh, mm. It's like the half the size of an M&M. I remember when we were in Acadia National Park in Maine and <gasps> we would see all the blueberries <gasps> along right. our walks. And we just like devour them oh before the bears did. They're so good, Will. I feel like we we're stealing the one? bears' food, though. Do you want one? No, I'm good. Really? No, nah, that's you. I, you know, I'm on a diet. I don't need that much. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. All right, I need you to help me get up. <sighs> what? You fallen? <laughs> and I can't get up. And you can't get up. Are you making fun of me? No, we don't need these fancy French jeets we can just live off the land listen you know what will and i were talking about doing when we were considering doing the entire le Puy, we were trying to figure out oh there's gonna be more we're trying sorry we were trying to just figure out how we would do this financially because it's really expensive and we proposed to the kids that we would tent out and there's tons of places to tent out and they were like for 44 days no way they were not having any of it little do they know we're going to do the appalachian trail for six months at some point but One don't day. tell them don't tell them but shh it's our secret, right? It's our secret. Okay, no more strawberries. Let's go. How are we doing? You guys ready? We're almost there. Let's go. We're almost there. It's almost rest time. We're not almost there. You said you like going uphill more than downhill, right? Well, hopefully it's not super steep downhill. Is this exactly the birthday that you envisioned? No, it's not. Far from it. <laughs> I know, you'd rather go uphill the entire time, huh? Mm, yeah, totally. That's exactly what I want to be doing on my birthday. Happy birthday, Adelon! Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of us. All right, we finally made it. Oh, this is it. Yep. Okay, good. Okay, let's go. Just like that. This is Look at this amazing room we have here. This is not just our room like this. This is because you see bed, you see bed. But look, Largo and Avalon each get their own suite. Oh, I thought that was my room. In here. No, it's not. <gasps> the birthday, birthday girl, girl gets, gets her, her own room. room. Thank you very much. 
With the hike behind us, we decided to start the celebration right away with probably the best lunch we had ever had on any Camino. And Avalon started to impress us on how quickly she could master the 15-year-old Hanks that we have heard so much about. Avalon, how's your birthday lunch so far? She's the birthday girl! <laughs> Largo, what, what else can we do to your sister? So I have ordered the um, the quinceanera dress, and all we need is a clown, the marching band, and jalapeno poppers. And, and a pony. The Avalon's having a birthday today! Party tonight! Woo! Up in that room right up there. Dad, 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 look. Water, camera. What are you trying to say? Choose your next words very wisely. <laughs> I love you. Now it was finally time to give Avalon her gift, which for our family is usually some kind of adventure. No! Artemis, no, tape. no way! Half the fun of the gift, though, is having the kids guess it. There is mine and daddy's custom card. Oh, I'm the mine. last minute. Good. Good. Next. Five minutes ago. <laughs> Multi-purpose. When you're done, you can use it in the bathroom. We're selling them in a swag shop. You know that. <laughs> Your worthy adventure has to do with ice. What is it? 20 questions. You gotta guess what the adventure is we're giving you for your birthday. Well, it's easy. It's someplace in um, Scandinavia. Well, yeah. What else? <laughs> Ice skating? Mm -hmm. Dog sledding? Home. If I get it, will you actually tell me? Mm -hmm. That's twice you've guessed. Can I give her yeah. a hint? Is it literal ice? Mm hmm. Then it could be literally anything in Scandinavia. I keep guessing. So it's indoors. Is it human? No. no. <laughs> Can you eat it? No. Uh, <laughs> oh God! Can you stay in it? Yes. Yes. Were you staying in the ice hotel? Yes. <laughs> oh. That was. I think I gave. You know, I shouldn't have given away ice. I should have said it's something cold, and then then moved from there. You know what, Avalon? Were you watching our live stream last night? No. Because we told everyone. The, the whole world knew before you did. Yeah. Surprise! It's not fair. <laughs> Welcome to our world. Surprise! Uh oh. One, two, three. to you. Happy birthday to you. I'm gonna kill you, Dad. Happy birthday to you. I'm alone. <laughs> your wish you, you can hike tomorrow that was not my wish day two is a wrap now here's something that we've learned today as we sat during dinner is that it is like people do a week they do two weeks yeah they do a week this i haven't seen yet one person who's like through hiking all the way to yeah, like, like to San Juan like, or, or even, you know, Spain for that matter. Right, because Camino Friends says there was a lot of through hikers and we weren't doing it at a busy time of year. But what we're seeing now is people for like but anywhere between two and seven days seems to be the average of how long people are doing it. And like we'll say they do a segment each year. Guys, there are flies this is like everywhere a real thing. here. Like when I say there are flies, they are all over your food. Any place you eat, all the doors and windows are open. I think, I mean, we're in the mountains and it's hot and it's summer, but it's it's getting it's getting gross. I guess I really don't like flies. Like I will take anything over flies, but they're just, like if you don't touch your plate. You just have to be a little. Five flies will land on it. A little on the Active, accommodating like side so that if a fly shows up, you're just like, eh, it's a fly. It's out there. And you know there. what, you know what flies do when they land, so. They they set up a tent and they camp and they just hang out. They clean. Yep, they have a little you know, s'mores and a picnic. All right, how far did we go today? We went, we actually went 14 kilometers, a whopping 14 kilometers. It took forever. It didn't take forever. It took a long time. We I, take a long time. I kind of forget what the first couple days, I, I mean, we have to remind ourselves the first couple days on Frances that we were really slow. We didn't go that far. And then we just really built up. But we're not going to be on this one long enough to build up. No. So we all kind of feel a little... There's a train. What is that? That's oh. a train. We all kind no, of... No, hold on. More train. So hold we on. all... Hold on, train. It's done. It, okay, the train's done. Okay. We all kind of feel a little like, oh, you know, we're, we're, we're slugging along. But all that being said, we went from... Where did we go? Mont Bon. Mont... 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 Mont Bonnet. Mont Bonnet to... Ministral de Allier. Ministral de Allier. And how much did we spend today? A lot. We spent like f f about 
50 on lunch because Avalon's birthday and we just wanted to make it pretty for her and and then essentially pretty. oh that's right we had a we had a, a we didn't just do cheese and no we did like a whole butter. spread yeah we had a and then lunch. this place that we're staying at we haven't got the bill yet but we think it's around like 35 to 40 a night mm -hmm. ahead per person per person and that includes dinner and, includes and breakfast. breakfast so all in we're talking about 200 euros today happy birthday to avalon <laughs> <laughs> hey listen we would have been in for more if we were someplace else and going out for sushi so yes yes no we're, we're, we're good with that we're good and tomorrow they didn't they don't serve breakfast they don't even put it out but dejeuner until 7 a.m we're like whoa that's late for us so we convinced him to kind of let us have it at 6.30. So we'll be sleeping in a little bit because today and the day before we were on hiking by 5.30, Which right? Which will make the 25K all the better. <laughs> all right. Anyway, with that, we're out of here. We'll see you guys next time. Good night, guys. Good night see you and tomorrow. bon chemin. Bon chemin. Ciao. In the next episode of World Towning, day three of our Camino is here and we test ourselves with a really long one. Are you filming me going pathetically slow? You know... <laughs> Every now and then, so people need a little breath of fresh air. That's I why like, I stop and film. I feel like I want a bagel. <laughs> if you're enjoying the vlog, make sure to give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming. You need poles for this. We didn't buy poles because we're only doing it for four days. We but also didn't buy hiking shoes either. Yeah, this would be, poles would be a good idea right now. You know, if Keens saw you right now, they'd be like, what are you doing? You're giving us a bad and, name. And These aren't meant for this. And you do know if I fall and twist an ankle or something, the comments are going to be like, what? You were so stupid. Why did you do this?